is today is walking the trails at Rock Springs Nature Center in Decatur. It's not exactly the same. It's like Weldon Springs, just mode spots. I'm assuming straight. It's not marked very well. Is it? It says it's 2.5 miles. Just a narrow path cut through the woods or the weeds. Think there's going to be a surprise around this corner. Ta-da! Nothing. That's what you get when you get to the end there. A place to set your ass down, as my wife says. Still on the river trail. Which way, T? Another says we go left. Didn't say sure it did. At the bottom. It's kind of a boring trail so far. Someone just mowed the yard. No yep. path. That's good though. It's supposed to go around an old bottling company and a turtle pond. We'll see. Imagine walking the AT with one of these selfie sticks. Especially with a GoPro, it's kind of heavy. This trail is listed as difficult. So, so far, I don't get that, but. It's a good spot. Here's the woods. And here's the trail. Get a fairly steep hill here. Another bench for a scenic overlook. It's kind of cool, I guess. Here's the view from the scenic overlook of sitting on that bench. Okay. Back on the trail. Pretty rocky right here. You kind of got way ahead of me already. Kind of neat. Big oak trees. Glad I drenched myself in deep because the mosquitoes would be killing me down here.
here's a bridge crossing. Oh, it doesn't look very safe. Look at what's holding it up. On the middle at least. I better stay to an edge because I'm fat. It's pretty springy. Here we are coming back up to another bridge crossing. And this one has big logs for handrails. It's pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And it's a concrete bridge. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, there's another one of those cool bridges with the logs. This has a map. Focus. trail runs next to the highway. It's pretty uneventful so far. One mile to here? Some old building and another bench so you can sit there and watch the building. Go and take a look at it. You think this is the old bottling plant? Surely not. I go down there without slipping. That's what's inside. Chimney. Okay, so we're gonna go around the side here of this building. It's pretty steep because it just rained all morning, so this is very slippery. Let's see what's back here. Okay, there's an old part of this building. Yeah, the chimney was freestanding. Yeah. Kind of cool. No 
if I want to stand up on that or not. It's inside this window. Okay, go back up to the trip. Okay, so I guess this is part that's supposed to be difficult. This is pretty slippery. These rocks and roots especially. And that it rained all morning. So in fact, an old, who almost, Okay, Tina just comes down it like she's 20. And now up the hill. Some slick rocks. Man, another downhill. Turn it up so I don't fall. A lot slipperier, a lot more climbs, and has got me a lot more tired. So Tina's way ahead of me, and she's only 5'1, and I'm 6'2. So she doesn't knock any of the spider webs down like I do for her whenever I'm in front. But I slow her down with the camera, she says. so. Overlooking the river. Okay, we came up to our first dilemma. There's the sign, it says River Trail. And then there's a fork here. So I don't know if that means go straight or take that spur right because of the signs over there. So I would assume right. So we're going to take the right and see what happens. We could end up in a horror movie here. Nope, looks like we chose the right way, because there's the river trail. Today is an extremely humid day, and as I've said earlier, I'm fat, so this trail is kicking my butt. It doesn't affect my wife, she's long gone, but here's the stuff we've been climbing up and down. And it's hard to tell from the camera footage how steep this is but so if you hear me breathing really heavy that's why because I'm fat and it's humid and those don't go together surprisingly though there's been very few mosquitoes I felt a heard a few of them buzzing around my ear but other than that not a problem so this trail is two and a half miles long when we're done we might just go do a little exploring on some of these other small trails. They're like a quarter mile long, just stuff like that. The one, I really want to go see the one that goes in the pine forest. So I try to get some footage of that. But for now, this is what you get. And so I'll get back with you in a bit. Came across another bench that's sitting here off of this point. So I'm going to go over and see what the view is like from there. It will accomplish Tina getting 
even further ahead of me, but I wanted to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. There's a little trail that would go down to the river itself. You can see the river down there. It's kind of neat. And this bench was in memory of Susan Doxy Smith. The beavers have been chewing it up. Okay, back to the trail. I wish I would have bought my fantastic pariah trekking poles because they'd be great for these descents, especially today since everything's so wet. I'll, um, I'll do a separate video to show you those trekking poles. I bought those from Amazon and they're absolutely fantastic and they weren't crazy priced like the black diamonds, etc. So, huh. Okay, making sure I'm going the right way. It's kind of muddy through here, kind of sloppy muddy. Down on the river bottom. This is the two mile mark. Here's the turtle ponds. You can fish here. The nice one. Big mode area. Get back with you when we get to the turtle ponds. Never saw a single turtle. side a lot smaller but that's the turtle ponds so I'm gonna go back to the trail here. trail hooks back to the bike trail and heads back towards the nature center that was a pretty good trail I wouldn't call it difficult but probably moderate had some good scenery. It was better than most trails in central Illinois. So. Guess I was wrong. I was going to go back to the grass. See. Still on the trail. Seems like it should have we should have finished by now, but I'm hoping Tina didn't take us a wrong turn. Hill to climb. And we are going the right way. We I just ran into another sign. So this trail's a lot longer than they say then. Because the map says 2.75. And Tina's workout app has gone over three already. And the end isn't in sight. Keep going. That last tenth of a mile was straight up. We're back to the grass. So I'm assuming we're probably back to where we started. Hopefully, team went left here. It does a loop. I think it does. It looks cool in here. Huh. It's probably the coolest thing in here. Need a little shelter for you.
meeting. Okay. Back to the nature center where we first started. And here's the hours of the nature center. Anyhow, that trail was pretty good. It gets a little confusing because there's a lot of smaller spur trails that have signs and they all cross. So it kind of gets you a little confusing, especially there at the end. We, we actually went the wrong way for probably a couple hundred yards, but we figured it out and I'm sure you will too. So that's it for this trail. This is the river trail, river hiking trail at Rock Springs Nature Center in Decatur, Illinois. So like this video, subscribe. We usually have different videos at least once a week or twice a week. Go to the website dtexploring.com.